looks like we're getting near to that 500 subscriber mark almost. What's going on guys, Beast and Mighty here, got you some more Battlefield 4 gameplay on the Xbox One. Got a little bit of M16 gameplay for you as you can clearly see. I tried the M16 because I heard it obviously changed a lot since they did that huge overhaul on the uh, recoil and everything, how everything works in this game. So you're going to see a little bit of M16 gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am almost at 500 subscribers and I have no plans whatsoever on what I want to do for the special. I don't really know what my channel and look, look at this skill right here. There is no way to counter knives anymore in Battlefield. This is something that needs to be changed in my honest opinion because it is quite annoying because people will just run up and pay a knife you just like in Call of Duty. But you'll see later on in the gameplay what I'm talking about with all the BS that happened in this game. I had a lot of BS but I also got some crazy tears that I went on but Going back with what I was saying, I have no plans for the 500 subscriber special, but I had an idea and I think you guys can help me with this. Possibly a QA. and a I know I don't have that many active subscribers to maybe necessarily do a Q&A, but I think if you guys ask a few questions, I could probably get some in there and elaborate on each individual question. So it'll make enough for a six to eight minute video or however long Q&A usually do last. I don't really know if you guys would be interested in that, so feel free to leave it down in the comment section below because I am curious. I also feel that since you guys are watching my content, it's best to feel more connected to the commentators so you guys will know me a little bit better, get to know a little bit more about my life and all that, even if some of you care or some of you may not. It's whatever, you know, I know a lot of people are kind of interested in stuff like that. I know some YouTubers like to do Q&As, and I think it would be something I could get into, you know, because some people are interested in what their, uh, you know, YouTubers that they watch happen to do, like what goes on in their lives and all that cool stuff. And plus, I just think it'd be pretty cool to just, you know, let people know a little bit more about me. A little bit more about what I'm like and all that good stuff because as far as you guys are concerned I'm just some guy who uploads 1080p videos on YouTube and I just talks over and makes montages and just random other videos in between here and there some live comms and all that good stuff so I want you guys to know a little bit more about me and I think you guys would enjoy that but again let me know down in the comment section below if that's something that would be your cup of tea if you'd be interested in that but that's just something that I've thought about for the 500 subscriber special I also thought about doing a montage but uh, honestly, I've got a lot of clips, but my hard drive is really full at the moment, so I really need to get on that and try to empty a lot of stuff out that doesn't need to be on there. Just a lot of uh, leftover clips and stuff from previous videos that I've uh, yet to delete because I've been reformatting my hard drive and trying to tweak a few things on my computer and get everything up and running smoothly again. Because after a while, after you record, because I record almost every single game that I play just because if there's something that is awesome that happens, I want it to be in the best quality possible instead of trying to go back and recapture that through either like a theater mode or just some other really uh, terrible internal or external capture device. I try to get you guys the best quality as you guys know. And I would always like to always record every single moment that I can whenever I'm gaming. So if something again epic or awesome or just something funny happens, I can share it with you guys and just something that could be uh, you know YouTube worthy. But that's enough of that. I wanted to get my thoughts initially on this M16 really quick. I used it a little bit before they did the huge overhaul for multiplayer. I thought it was a pretty all around good gun. Still not as good as the one in Bad Company 2 in my opinion just the way they made it work and definitely not as good as it is in Battlefield 3 because they nerfed it a lot. Because in BF3 it was it was literally the best gun in the game. Uh, hands down, it was one of the best weapons that you could run to and easily just get kills with. What I mean by that is honestly it may not be the best weapon in the game for every scenario but you could pretty much pick that gun and just destroy anybody. It's a laser beam and just wrecked everything. If you guys remember Battlefield 3 and uh, it was crazy. Here's the terror that I go into. I end up running out of ammo in my primary because you know everyone runs support in Battlefield 4, right? <laughs> and uh, you know I ran out of ammo. One thing I also want to talk about really quick in this is uh, the classes. Now I know in Battlefield Hardline you can uh, grab ammo out of the support guy's pocket supposedly. That is something that I think should be a staple now in the Battlefield series. I think you should be allowed to just run up and grab ammo out of your uh, support guys' pockets because, well, most of the time they just ignore or neglect their teammates that actually really require ammo. There are a few occasional scenarios where you will get a guy that's a random that will actually do his job and supply you ammo or, uh, you know, supply med bags or whatever, do what his class suggests he's supposed to do. The only way you usually can guarantee that you're going to get ammo or revived or get health or anything in that scenario or category in between or any of that stuff is if you're rolling in a squad. Now, that is bad for solo players like myself. I do play Battlefield 4 solo. I've been getting a little bit more into it, playing it solo, because I'm just trying to learn how to use every class to my advantage 
So I've been using a lot of different classes. You guys can tell, obviously, I'm playing as Assault right now. And, uh, you know, I've just been doing that. I love playing as Assault. It's one of my favorite classes to play as. And here's the BS moment that I was telling you guys about. So when I try to knife people, they can counter me. So he ends up countering me. What was that? <laughs> you know, like, uh, the guy I couldn't counter. I didn't even have the option to counter him. And he tried to melee me in the face earlier. Couldn't do anything about it. They used to have an option where you could just press B to counter or whatever button it's mapped to. But for some reason now, it doesn't give me that option. At least 99.9% .9 of the time, I've never seen that option anymore ever since this big patch. So uh, hopefully that's just a bug. I would assume it's just a bug. I wouldn't assume that they would take something out that would be that annoying. Because, look, panic knifing is a problem in first-person shooters because it gives the person a free kill. Even if they're getting shot at, they're going to die if they're in the animation. But it's the fact that you died... And, you know, it just caused a bunch of problems. I'm not here to rant or anything. That's literally, I'm trying to get away from that. I used to do stuff like that on my channel now. If it's something serious and I need to get it off my chest and stuff, I will talk about it. But instead of just, you know, random bitching and stuff, I don't want to do that because it's just stupid and I don't feel like a complainer. I don't want to be known as a complainer anymore. My channel is trying to be transformed into positivity, which has always been a pretty mellow channel as it stands. But I'm trying to be known for that guy that just tries to just look at it from a very neutral standpoint and just try to get my point across without having to raise my voice in a very uh, I guess narcissistic way or I don't know if I'm necessarily using that word right but I'm trying to not be extremely just arrogant in my ways with trying to get my point across I don't have to use vulgar language and stuff sometimes you do in certain scenarios but I don't want to be known as the guy that just complains a lot no one wants to be known as that anyways I know there's a lot of channels on YouTube that are and uh, you know it's just not cool I mean you know I used to do that a lot and uh, you know I'm guilty of it but I've gotten away from it I think I've done a lot better and uh, you know I used to do that a lot with video games as well I used to complain a lot and that's just how it's went but uh, you know I've really just transformed into not really doing that as much I still get frustrated when you know silly things happen whenever I die in video games whenever I lose I'm extremely competitive as are a lot of other players but I'm uh, very happy to say that it is a much better gaming experience now that I don't get nearly as upset as I used to with video games and uh, you know it's just helped out a lot but back on Battlefield 4, there's a few other things that I'd really like them to try their best to improve on is the character model movement. Now, I think that Battlefield 2, not Bad Company 2, but Battlefield 2, I didn't play much of, but from what I've seen and what I've heard, I've done a lot of research on it because a lot of PC gamers said it was one of the best Battlefield games ever. It had some of the best character movement, hit detection, all that cool stuff, just a combination of everything, simplicity and fun factor and all that good stuff, the important things of a video game. It had it all. And uh, I think they need to get back to the character movement because in Battlefield 4 and even Battlefield 3, I call it the Jello man. I mean, he just moves around everywhere and you can't hit the guy. And it also just messes with net code and hit detection and all that. But again, let me know what you guys think about that Q&A. You guys, of course, have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.